Good to have a room. Hey, this is going to be the tour of the 318 in Northwest Colorado video. Yep. That's pretty accurate. Because I know I don't think anybody else is sitting there filming the 318. No. Nope. 318 is a major highway to the cows, which aren't even here. Even they said fuck it. Yeah. They're out there. They're off work today, so they're out in town. You saw the town we drove through it. It's a few feet larger than the windshield of this truck. People! <laughs> Camera off as it's happening. I don't know. Funny story. Uh huh. Right up here, Krista grew up. She, she actually was raised over here. Okay. And uh, first time she says it, we're traveling like this, and she's like, yeah, I grew up right over there. Was that that little shed? I right saw there? the little shed, and I was like, let's son go of a bitch! Let's go. Let's you grew up hard. I was like, you grew up fucking hard. I got nothing on that. She's like, about no, you the, the trailer. <laughs> that trailer right there. Yeah. That's where little Krista grew up. When you said that, I thought the same thing. Seriously, I'm like, damn. I was like, mic drop. I got shit on I'm that. Not, I'm not waiting for Michael Landon and the rest of the little house in the prairie to come by and start freaking weeping. We thought we had a bad, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's too sorry. So this is where we'll go cut wood over here. Well, what happened? We'll go cut wood with cedar. Oh, okay. This is where in, Oklahoma, in Colorado you get wood. Because this is the place in Colorado where they have wood. Apparently. A like, thousand miles through the state. I thought differently, but apparently those weren't fucking trees. <laughs> well, the closest place to us to get wood is here. Um, you haven't seen your front yard yet, have you? <laughs> yeah, have that's you? a work in progress, too. <laughs> Dude, there's trees all over there. Yeah, I don't want to kill any of my good trees. No. I, hey, let's talk about your good plants. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't have a green thumb, it turns out. Um, you don't have green plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris's house is where plants go to die. die. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's sad. Now we just grow edibles. <laughs> <laughs>
hope so, because if you keep taking me to sucky places, I'm just not coming back. <laughs> Fuck! Thought I could get away with it. And I'll be able to briefly take you by Sandwash. Which is a pretty badass place. That's boring. Yeah. We saw a snake. Yeah. Almost ran it over. We did. We tried not to. We got it away. But Kyle was really good. He moved so kicked some dirt near it so it'd go away. It goes to the end of the tire. I kick it and the snake's like, I'm not freaking moving. I'm like, I wish you could understand me because this vehicle weighs more than you and it's gonna crush you. We have no interest in doing that. So we moved the car forward and the other way. Hey, this is gonna be the tour of the 318 in Northwest Colorado video. Yep, there you go. It's pretty accurate. Because I know I don't think anybody else is sitting here filming the 318. 318 is a major highway to the cows, which aren't even here. Even they said fuck it. Yeah. They're, well they're out there. They're off work today, so they're out in town. You saw the town we drove through it. It's a few feet larger than the windshield of this truck. People! <laughs> so see the buggy closer, obviously. That's part of Sandwich. What are you talking about? I don't know. You see the rock over there by the bush? No, I'd find that no problem. The one up here in a minute, I'm gonna show you, is uh, a little bit beyond my comfort level. Pussy. Dude, why you can't call me on it? You could have called me a pussy earlier. Huh? I could have hit one of those hills, but I'm like, yeah, no, I, I gotta I go. You didn't. Yeah, you didn't. You're a better person than I am, pussy. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of Gorman. It's different, but Kyle's never been to Gorman, and that was my backyard where I grew up learning how to ride. Oh. Yeah, so I, I know that place so well, it's ridiculous. This hill right here? Yeah, I'm not, I don't know that I'll ever do it. I've done. Because there's rock, there's rock, there's parts going up it that it turns from like hard dirt and, and like sand to just rock face. So if you light up that rear tire and you don't have enough momentum, you're fucked. <laughs> See the rock faces like two thirds of the way up? Ah, uh, yup. Yeah, that shit's pretty gnarly. Where are the wild horses at? Way. Hey, hold on, slow down. I want to see if I can get a good shot. Here, I'll pull up to it. Alright. This is all the other people. This is where they stage and they're all badass riders. Yeah, see all the rock faces up here? Oh, the oh. people that came through earlier. Oh, dude, that looks fucking burly. Yeah, it, it is. From the side, it doesn't look bad. From the front. Yeah, I told you. That's. One that I'll likely never try. Pussy. Mostly because of the ro the rocks. If it was just dirt, I would get them enough momentum. It just looks scary. If momentum, if you get enough momentum, you can do it. With yeah. the rock faces, that's gonna fuck you halfway up. And yeah. You're gonna hate life. Cause you're gonna hit that with like third gear to get enough momentum, and then you're gonna go rock face, and you're gonna go airborne and die on the way down. But there's other people with more skill than I am that have done it. I think we both could do it. No. You have fun with that shit. <laughs> I just there's a couple lips. There's a couple lips up there that go 90 degrees. That's like an eight-inch curb. I'll show you the one that I did a couple times last week. 
and I'll show you exactly where that XR600, like, that'll work. He, he grabbed way too much front brake <laughs> and uh, almost died. <laughs> well, like yeah, this is really bad uh, POV amateur home video dirt biking in the middle of Colorado station channel thing. Okay, there's a guy loading up. Yeah, he saw that hill. He said, fuck it, just put the bikes back in. Looks like you had a good day. <laughs> KTM. By the way, we're not on 318 anymore. No. I just wanted to tell whoever is actually sitting through this video. I haven't posted a video in a while, and this is going to be me just being a jackass. If you guys don't mind, I actually want to walk up to over here. We mind. I'm on vacation. <laughs> this is not five-star service, you dick. <laughs> Alright, so... Do you see... Kyle knows me well right enough, here. he just moves on. Oh, yeah, dude, that looks so much like parts of Gorman. And a few other places. Dude, it's got rock, paper, and scissors. It's epic. I like that one right there. Oh, that blue. Those things freak me out. Well, okay. So, I'm going to work you through this. Yeah? I went up right here. One platform, two flat platform. It drops down. And see how the little loop turn around? Yeah. I went on the right side, but instead of looping around, I went up. Oh, you went to, to the top? top. I was looking at that, it looks pretty fun. And I got within this far of the very top, and there was a boulder that I couldn't see till I was up there about this big. Oh. My front wheel hits it, my bike shoots off to the right and goes down the down one. Oh! I went over the handlebars and was laying up uh, right on the very top. Dude! Now, the XR600 wreck that Dylan had is the down one. On the right? Yeah. That one's not that bad because it's steep, but it flattens out pretty quick. But he's a new rider. So he used brakes. Too much front brake and a third of the way down, he, he goes skid like this. Out. <laughs> and he skid down, Ejected so I Both rode back up to him and made sure he was all right, and then we got out of here. But, yeah. Let's go take a quick look. Yeah, I just want to walk up because in my mind. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is me opening this cocksucker of a door. I don't know how that looks. <laughs> this door is a bitch. It is a bitch. Not enough. Fat boy comes fully loaded. Yes, it's Snickerdoodle. This is time for your commercial. It's gonna go right there. Right there. We'll call it Kyle the. They call him Kyle Arado for a reason. Kyle yes. I'm also reminding y'all to use sunscreen and stuff. I don't know what this looks like. Oh wait, I've got a viewfinder. If I can work this. I'm peeling. I'm the seven different shades of between white and red. There's Krista again. <laughs> why I don't carry a camera with me because I film stupid shit with no thought and planning. Okay, part of Kyle's documentary here, he is walking through the parched sun, his face is gonna look like mine. He's eating his last little snickerdoodle pie thingy, whatever it is. But he's on a quest for the epic motorbike, motorcycle, dirt bike thingy out here. We're just the lonely camel, camera crew for him, trying to keep up, like one of those Bear Guile stories. So, okay, you you went up on the right side of the loop, or you went to the trail that went to the right? The trail that went to the right. Okay. Yeah, and then oh, the I was like, hey, down. And I went right down it, and I got to here, and I turned around. Just in time to see him doing this. Huh. <laughs> And down he goes. And then we have it on GoPro. I'll show it to you at the house. Dude, that's got a lot of cinnamon. Do what? Got a lot of cinnamon. So yeah, this is a fun place to ride.